in mini exam number two, another problem which is a very good problem, also a problem number number seven. It is related to the same. We need to master this because I heard many, many stories about Postnix formula. This will include three problems in this in order to make sure that you really understand. Here, he gave you four circular footings. Four circular footings. Here we go. And he's asking, a bridge pier, you know, a pier is a, a pier is a deep foundation. Deep foundation is a very big column. Okay, we do it under the foundation of the circular footings. Each is carrying 200 kips. The footings are arranged as shown. And he gave us the diameter, by the way. The diameter is what? 12 feet. This one here is 12 foot. Is this correct? Yes. And he needs what will be the increase? You see, increase in vertical stress. At point P, this is a point P. At the center of the square 24, this is Z. So we need to read the problem carefully and know exactly what he is talking about. So we will move to the following chart, which is also given in Bosnix formula. Let me find it. And this is on page of the same book. If you go back again to the book, the book number three, on page 100, page 100, please, page 100. And this is the square. Here it is. This is 2R, which is the diameter. And this is a distributed load P, B applied. And this is the center. This is the center line. And this is R. And this is H. Unfortunately, he's using H and this is R, and this is S, and this is sigma. So the equation is delta, the vertical pressure is equal to the influence factor I, or influence value, times the applied load, P applied. This is the equation, which is written here. Here it is. But I will write it. Again, in order to get the I, all what I am looking for is I the influence value. I need two numbers. The influence value is here, by the way, I, in the x-axis. This is I. Top or bottom, by the way, I. This is also I. But I need what? I need two numbers. I need the H over R. Okay. H over R. H is the depth. I will write, because normally we use Z, by the way, but depth. And the R, how far from, and the S is the radial distance. Don't forget the S. S is equal to a square root, again, of H square plus R square. So, in order to get, I need to get H over R, which is increasing this way, this is zero increasing this way, and we have series of R over R. This R over R, here, here we go. This here, R over R. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, I guess in the end of the day, you can get uh, lower 
That's correct. No. R is how far, how far from the center line. R is the radius. This is, this is the radius. Radius of the circle. R is a distance measured from the center of the circle to the point of interest. How far? I need I need the stress increase under the center line of the circle. R is equal to zero. If I need it at at a certain fifty feet or thirty feet, and and a very good question, and the answer is coming very soon. And the problem we are going to solve it, and after that we'll go home. I promise you that we'll go home tonight. Sometimes. Oh my God! Somebody say here he doesn't want to go home. Anybody disagree? Uh, agree? Oh my God! I I know I know I know. Huh? He can stay. He can stay. We can we can leave the keys and okay. Let's go and apply that. Apply that. Okay. Yes. It seems that I have a, a response from one engineer here. He said that uh, I have a engineer in Fresno here. You want to go home? Oh my God. Okay. Okay. We will go home sometimes tonight. Okay. I know. I know. It was just try to wake you up. Okay. Let's solve this problem. So. Let, let this is since you mentioned it. Uh, let me uh, uh, change the the z. I will call it exactly h. I'm sorry that the navy they are using this, and this is called h. Maybe in the future for but the copyright I have to keep it. H, which is the depth. Right now, can you tell me what is r, Muhammad? Right now, r is equal what? Now from here to here, from the center up to here is what? 25 feet and how far from here to here is also 25 the r he's talking about it from here to here this is r or this is and an this no sorry this is s which is the square root of the r square which is 25 square a plus 25 square which is that he called it the s distance which is the radial this how deep it is and how far on the other side okay or no let me i will try it when i say this is r this is r i was right r which is how far from the point of the center of the load to the point of interest let me let me show it to you how far from the center of this to this here how far okay horizontally i'm talking about this is a blame view horizontal this is r because we are going to calculate okay so r so so r is equal uh, 25 square plus 25 square so r is equal to the square root of 25 square plus 25 square how much is that please 35 0.36 feet okay right now how much is h is equal 24 so right now i need two numbers i need r over r r over r r is equal 35.36 divided by the radius how much is the radius in our situation huh no six diameter is so this is r and the second number i need i need h over r so h is what is 24 over six is equal four and the other number is what the 35.35 35.36 enter 6 divided is 5.89 hopefully you can get the number correct okay right now we'll go to the chart so i have the r over r and the h over r so where is r over r r over r is here i need 5.89 this is 5 and this is six so again linear interpolation 
and I have h over r is 4. So this here it is 4. So I will go horizontal, h over r of 4. And this is 5, and this is 6, and I need 5.89. So it is very close to 6. So this is 5, so probably 5.89 somewhere here. Maybe. And I will go up. This probably will give me a number. Hopefully that will get an answer. If it's not, we can figure out. This is 0 0.006. So the I is equal 0 0.006. If you agree with me, that's good. If you disagree, also still good. At least we can figure out what mistake I did. So, so the I is equal 0 0.00. Is this is the right number I read? 0 0.006. What is the stress, by the way, sigma? Did he give us the stress? the load or P, the uniform load over this. No, he gave the load is 200 kips, but sigma is equal B over A. So in this for each column, so it is 200 kips, okay, divided by the area which is by, and the diameter is 12, Square divided by four. This is the one will multiply by the so which is b over a sigma is b over a. So it is by r square. This square by the way divided by four. So by d square over four, or by r square, whatever is convenient for you. But I prefer d because we always remember this. So it is one forty four enter. Second by times four divided two hundred times this number I came one point seven six eight three. This is ton per square foot. Uh, sorry, kib KSF, not ton KSF. Did you get the same number? Good. So right now, I need the increase in stress where the equation delta BV delta B V is equal I, which is 0 0.006 times the 1.7683. What number is that? Point zero one like this, zero six, and the answer is. Do I have an answer to match that? Exactly. If I ignore the four, I will get the answer A. Here it is, point zero one, and they give you the answer to match my mistake. But I, this is due to one, one footing only, circular footing. So I have to multiply this by four. Like exactly is equal to the answer will be different right now. Is this correct? And the answer, the correct answer is C, if I remember correctly. So this is four. Why four? I will say four footings. So this will give you the answer C, which is 0 0.04. This is a KSF. A very good problem. Look at it again, especially the, the R value and the H. Sorry, they, they change it. So this is a bland view, by the way. This is a bland view or top view. And we need to practice. We need to visualize things, by the way, in the exam. We have a bland view, side view, what he's talking about. Making sense? Do we deserve to go home? Okay.
So do your best and I will do my best. If you are missing any book or missing any